next question? Any other thoughts? There's lots of them. We have lots of them. <laughs> 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 okay, look how them are coming out. Do any of you know the story behind how you guys first came down here yeah. as a trip? Yeah. yeah. Anybody want to share that? Yeah. Um, Anybody who yeah, ever knows or, the best, yeah, I guess. So, um, yeah, there was a, an alum from our high school that came down here and volunteered, I think, through her church, Mary yes. Bryant. Yeah. Um, I think so. And then yeah. Mr. McGee somehow got into contact with her. Is this right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. She came, like, um, through... I think she was maybe a long-term yeah, volunteer. Yeah, she was a long-term volunteer, long volunteer so over she the was summer, here for right? like three months. Yeah. So. Um, so then somehow the connection, it was they had planned the trip right before Katrina. That same year, I think, was the first trip that there was a group down here from our high school. Um, oh, was it? Right? Right after? I thought it was right after. after. Right after, after? yeah. Okay. The year mm -hmm. after. Like, not 2005, but 2006. But she had passed away in a van yeah. accident? In, she was in on a, another in a she was in a car accident. Yeah. She was on another mission trip, wasn't she? Uh, no, was, I think uh, no, she uh, was okay. exactly. It was like okay. a, okay. a car chase, like a hit and run. Oh, okay. she, was she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Place she, the as far as I know the story, is she was taking her grandmother to to an opera to, or something like that. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. They, they went through a, a mm -hmm. they didn't run the red light, but somebody so else from the other yeah. side yeah. ran a red light mm -hmm. and, and T-boned yeah. them, and yeah. unfortunately they were both killed. Yeah. 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 So this so is. I think McGee and so it was McGee a found out so about. her funeral uh -huh. and found out about and talked her, to her mom. Story right. And her, you know, commitment to Back Bay. And he wanted, to, was, he wanted oh, to continue yeah. that legacy, yeah. like, in her honor. I guess they had either spoken or at some point, she, because she was a Near Yanks alum, and Near Yanks is an all-girl high school in St. Louis, right. and her big thing was seeing the all the groups come down to Back Bay, and she always said that they needed an estrogen fest. Yeah. So, so a group of girls, and she wanted <laughs> girls from Near Yanks to come cool. down, so that's yeah. why McGee was like, all right, yeah. so in her legacy, mm -hmm. you know, let's so get this, a So this Yanks group together. started as kind of a... a you know, girls and, and, and so some like some of the fathers, her. right? Yeah, yeah. 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 So um, and some teachers at and school all your all fathers right? come down. No, your father, your father, um, your father has not come down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I was just kind of floored when I first met you guys. I mean, I heard, I started in July, and you guys had come the month before, mm -hmm. in two thousand seven. Yeah. So I didn't get to meet you that year, but I heard about you. And I was like, okay, well, I don't know if I can do it. You were like, okay, like, I'll mentally prepare you know, it. Uh, uh, a hundred deathly <laughs> girls, right? Yeah. So, it, it, but it was, but, but it was, it was exciting. It was yeah. exciting because I, I was new at it. I yeah. didn't get, I didn't, I hadn't experienced working with volunteers much yet. You know, it was my first time for everything, and I quickly fell in love with what we did here. Yeah. And this place has come to mean so much to people, including myself. Mm -hmm. And you know the work that we do, but you know, in in the beginning, it was all about the work and how many people we're helping. Right. You know, on a on, you know on a daily, weekly basis, whatever it is, and the impact we're not not just having on the homes that we're touching, but the lives we're touching yeah. at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. um, but very soon after I'd started, I was sort of become more in love with also the volunteers. Yeah. And it started making an impact. The volunteers started making a huge impact on my life, and the long-term volunteers and everything else. Mm -hmm. And so, it's it's one of those things that I, I think, as a group, you girls probably have grown closer. Am I? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now. I mean, it, like I said, like before, I it was a good opportunity for me to like meet people that were older than yeah. me because, you know, nearing we had like 150 people in our class and it was nice to be able to kind of extend beyond mm -hmm. that. So like when you saw people that went to Biloxi in school, it wasn't like, Oh, I don't know them. Like I can't like, it was all this huge family who had experienced what you had experienced. Even if their experience wasn't the exact same, they kind of knew they had, they, they kind of yeah. had the itch. Like you had something in common that you could relate to. And mm -hmm. I, I mean, I would, we would not be friends. Yeah, no, I mean, they yeah. were seniors when we were freshmen. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we would not be friends if it weren't for Bloxy. Like, right. and, mm -hmm. you know, now, like Megan said, this is our week to, like, see each other. Because, like, yeah. life does get in the way. We don't, We all oh, live yeah. within, like, 15 minutes of each other. But we see each other maybe two or three times a year. Yeah. COVID, mm -hmm. obviously, less. But, um, it, yeah, it is, like, a huge bonding experience. Mm -hmm. And there are so many people that we can reach out to just because they've been on this trip. Mm -hmm. Like, who right. would be there for you in a yeah. millisecond? Yeah, part right. of it really is just those, I mean, of all the years we keep coming back, you build new relationships, but mm -hmm. it is just, like, strengthening the, like, it's, it's weird to look standbys, yeah. on you guys, and, like, I didn't yeah. know you guys when I was a freshman, mm -hmm. I just remember the first time I met you, 
Mr. McGee had come to one of my lacrosse games, and you guys were there watching Bo. Yeah. And he was like, hey, I want to introduce you to the manuals. And I was like, sure. Who is that? And he's like, yeah. to the, their seniors. They go to Bluffs. That's like, scary. To okay. <laughs> See, it was interesting I was, like, sure. I was afraid of Sam, but not Megan. Are you yeah. kidding me? She's way more intimidating. Like, look at Sam over there. I know. <laughs> it was scary about me. I don't know. No, no, I, I mean, I soon started calling you mom, Sam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, because I, I saw Sam always kind of making sure that the, the kitchen is, you know, mm-hmm. everything is prepared For in the, the kitchen. And, and all the girls running to Sam to kind of get, you know, yeah. <laughs> medical advice or, or, you know, get a band aid or do know. whatever, yeah. you know. I mean, yeah, I just saw you. I, saw, <laughs> I just saw you. I think, I don't know why I started Thank calling you, you mom. Yeah. Thank you for me. <laughs> Probably because I was. Well, because they were they in charge of the, the food. The for food. Us. So yeah, like McGee year. kind of recruited them to be in charge, uh, yeah. but not. We, we asked. To okay, do well, it. yeah, but yeah. Oh, you were recruited too. Yeah. <laughs> I, you're crazy if you really volunteer for that. We did. But, okay, well. Um, but so they would do all the cooking and stuff, and like Behave. they would. Sorry, I'm sorry. I told you. I, you told me to be honest. I mean, um, but they would do all the cooking and stuff. So they were the people that they turned. You turned to, like, right, even right. if they weren't in charge at like a work site or anything. Like they were still they were the, leaders. Yeah, they were the leaders. Because, they yes. stood out. Yeah, because you think about like so we had at one point a hundred plus. High school yeah. girls. Oh yeah. Yeah, but then we had a bunch of dads who were mm-hmm. handy, who did, who knew how to do, you know, use the power tools because there's only one Craig and there's only one like site manager or whatever mm-hmm. or however many sites we had. But like the dads, you would go to them for you know all your work site advice, mm-hmm. and we didn't normally have that many moms come no, with us. Right. Yeah. So yeah. we kind of like I these young girls that have never role. that have never been away like without their moms. Like yeah. they've I mean, never been I don't on know vacation. How many people boil a pot of water yeah and so simple yeah. that i was like oh, you know how to do that yeah. like yeah. i said like true. actual life like lessons or something in the kitchen i'm like you can stir this pot of spaghetti sauce yeah really yeah don't burn oh my gosh <laughs> the red sauce and the white yeah. yeah so how do you think you've grown through this though i mean personally each and every one of yeah. you how many have you i think that for me coming down starting like sophomore year going to junior year it just made an impact of like me wanting to do service trips like it i obviously keep coming back to biloxi this is 12th year but even when i went to college i would seek out service trips in college and do our like mizzou alternative breaks and i did three of them and then led a trip there and then i went to africa with Mr. mcgee and like that's something i always then kept wanting to do because i think the trip just kind of set the tone for like being able to get yourself in a different comfort zone. I mean, it is comfort zone for us, but setting yourself out of, like, what you're used to and wanting to, like, try a new service trip. And I got to go to Oklahoma and do the same thing that we do here, but just in a different part of the U.S. with a different group of people. But I feel like that's how it's mostly impacted me, that it just made me want to keep on doing service trips in yeah. whatever I, area same thing. I was in. I mean, I think for me, like... I mean, my dad's gone with me every year. He went, he went without me one year, but... Rude. True. Yeah. How dare I ask getting a doctor? Sorry. I think we um, face saw that year. Yeah. 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 getting a doctor. Getting a doctor. Yeah. Um, it's true. Like, yeah. it was an hour. Yeah. 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 Every night, I'd be like, guys, I'm trying to study. I'm trying to learn the origins and insertions of every muscle. Um, but, no, I think for me and Nancy, like, we talked about it yesterday. We... I don't, you know, I don't see my dad for a week interrupted uninterrupted like we we both have lives he still works I work you know we have other things going on so for me like it's a huge bonding experience with my dad like that I I'm the youngest of four so like my parents they were done parenting by the time I came around so like and uh, they're great people but like I mean I get it they were tired so like I never I never had this close-knit thing with my with my dad and like so being able to come down here and, like, this is our thing. Like, my mom, we've asked her, do you want to come? And she's like, oh, no, no, this is your thing. Like, yeah. this, it, they they don't want to kind of break up that thing. But it's and it's hard to describe. Mm-hmm. Like, but I think it's, it's a special thing that you exactly. guys get to share together. Yeah. And that's, like, kind of all you guys really. And that right. was really you know, set up their way with the kind of, you know, all the girls and their dads. I yeah. think that yeah. was part of the whole thing. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. That's yeah. usually why, well, at least that we hear with new dads coming on, they're like, really am excited about mm-hmm. you know spending time with my daughter mm-hmm. and this mm-hmm. and that and yeah that really is the yeah. draw because they some of them come without any you know 
construction yeah. mm -hmm. skills right. or any right. any idea of what they're getting into with the, the job site. But yeah. they just want to spend time with their daughters. So. Yeah. Right. And it's funny how it's changed from, like, when we ever we have to do something at home and lift something heavier goes more, my dad will be like, Haley, will you help me with this? My mom's like, no, get coal, my brother. Right. And he's like, she can do it. I've seen what she does. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. just funny how he knows because he's seen, like, all the different things we've gotten to do. So yeah. he can be yeah. like, no, she's capable of doing this right. instead of being like, oh, let me get the boy to come help. <laughs> it's like, 